And tell me about the history of the fine luxury menswear brand Cesare Artolini. Okay, the history starts in the 1913 mm -hmm. with our grandfather uh, Vincenzo Artolini, which as a young man he started to change the English style that was at that time means very stiff jacket, very you know, a little bit big. Our grandfather started to make the small jacket and he started to invent Neapolitan style. What is it about Neapolitan style that is so uh, exquisite and elaborate? There's a lot of personality. It's, this is jacket is small with a very short arm hole, very small volume that he gives you more comfort because many times people, you know, he's a, he, he don't think the right way to wear a jacket. They think bigger is the jacket, more they can move. It's not like this, it's the opposite. Small it is, and more you can move. You have a tailoring uh, tradition where there was the king, the house of the king. Napoli, we had house of the king. So every nation, you have the king, there is tailoring tradition. Naples, England, Spain, this is in Europe the most well-known houses. So it becomes big tradition. Then moreover, in Napoli there is, a, you know, the style was very, very, very particular and very, very uh, exasperated, you know, is with this small jacket and this small body. So you take over 20 years ago when you're going on an international level. Can you elaborate on that? In 1989 and beginning of 1990, uh, we start to uh, develop the company. And uh, before in Italy, uh, outside Naples, Florence, Rome, Milan, the, we start from Germany. Uh, then during a PT, we have a contact with the Japan, Japan market, uh, uh, American market, and uh, slowly, slowly, we start to export our product uh, abroad Italy. Uh, the distribution is uh, from uh, Far East to US, you know, it takes all the, all the capital. Okay, well, speaking about the Far East, do you have uh, hopes and aspirations to build in this market? We in the, in the Far East, uh, we, we, the first market that uh, appraised a lot of Tolini was Japan. And uh, we built a very good market in the last uh, 20 years. 20 years. Uh, they follow our style, our, our test, and uh, that's why uh, if you go there, you, you see a very nice distribution of, of uh, a Tolini product. Japanese people is very close to Italian style, the mentality. What your stamp, uh, what your signature is for the brand of Cesare Attolini? That uh, we, Cesare, Vincenzo was the one that he had a great uh, uh, tailor shop. Uh, Cesare was one that he became from tailoring a shop to uh, uh, pro uh, tailoring process. We are the one that make the brand, make international distribution that makes the brand from a local brand to international international brand. Now, this is our signature. Now, when you elaborate on how the World Wide Web and the internet will play a significant role in the future of Cesare Attolini? Of course, with the suit is not easy because the suit you have to fit. But with some uh, other products like ties, shirt, knitwear, Scarf. scarves, accessories, mm -hmm. I think it's the future, totally the future. The web is very, very important for us as uh, uh, all the news, all what people want to know about history, about Cesare Attolini, is fundamental for us to be on web. If you could give the consumer one soundbite about the brand of Cesare Attolini that you'd like to say now, what would that be? Uh, we changed the old style in a um, new style, in the tailoring uh, way, but in the modern key. That's uh, very important for us because uh, we are um, a lot on the market and we hear a, a lot about the, our customers and we transfer what they want in the, our product. So you've developed the style to a mod, to, for the modern needs of the uh, consumer. Yeah, but uh, yeah. we, we, we always care about the high quality manufacturing.